وَأَقُولُوا فِي الْقُرْآنِ مَا جَاءَتْ بِهِ آيَاتُهُ فَهُوَ الْكَرِيمُ الْمُنْزَلُ وَأَقُولُوا قَالَ اللَّهُ جَلَّ جَلَالُهُ وَالْمُصْطَفَى الْهَادِي وَلَا أَتَأَوَّلُ My siblings are always insulting and disrespecting my parents. Should I cut ties with them after they ignore my pleas to stop? Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa salatu wa salam ala abdillahi wa rasulih nabina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. So here it's really important to say that cutting off from people is of two types. Cutting off from people for Allah or cutting off from people because of a matter of the dunya. As for cutting off from people, al-hajr, for the sake of Allah, for them to return back to the correct situation, then this, the ruling of it, is whether you feel that it will benefit, whether you're, you think that it will benefit or not. If you think it will benefit, then there is no limit to it. The Prophet ﷺ, for example, kept away from the three who didn't attend the battle of Tabuk, and that, that hajr lasted 40 days, and Ka'b ibn Malik and, and, and the others. So ultimately, keeping away from someone for the sake of Allah to bring them back to the truth is a matter of whether it will benefit or not. If it will benefit, it's permissible. If it will not benefit and it will just make them even worse, and Allah uh, told us about this. There are some people who, if you say to them, have taqwa of Allah, they're Honor takes hold of them and they com- they continue to sin or they even become even worse in their sinning. So there are some people who cutting off from them doesn't benefit them. As for matters of the dunya, you know, that are not, it's not about making them come back to Allah Azza wa Jal, then it's not permissible for a person to cut off with the, from their brother in Islam for more than three days. It's also really important to use different styles of advice. So sometimes the problem is that the way the the sibling has approached advising their siblings who are doing such a huge sin of insulting, disrespecting the parents, that style of advice might not be reaching the person. And if you look at the beginning of Surah Nuh, one of the things you see about Nuh is how Nuh varies his advice, how he called upon them uh, in secret and in public. He, he spoke to them privately, he spoke to them loudly. You see all these different kinds of advice from Nuh alayhi salam. قَالَ رَبِّي إِنِّي دَعَوْتُ قَوْمِي لَيْلًا وَنَهَارًا فَلَمْ يَزِدُهُمْ دُعَائِي إِلَّا فِرَارًا And the statement of Allah Azza ثُمَّ إِنِّي أَعْلَنْتُ لَهُمْ وَأَسْرَوْتُ لَهُمْ إِسْرَارًا Nuh, he said, I called upon my people in the day and in the night. And Allah tells us that Nuh also said, I spoke to them in public gatherings and I spoke to them in private. One of the things you can take from the beginning of Surah Nuh is the variation in the style of giving warnings and advice. It's not about whether you're public or private, but just varying lots of different ways of speaking to people, different opportunities through other people, um, sometimes by warning, sometimes by giving them glad tidings if they change their ways, sometimes by you know the heart softeners, sometimes by the 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 uh, you know the ayat and the hadith of punishment, sometimes by just listening and and trying to you know understand where they're coming from so that you can correct them. There are so many different options and so many different styles of advice, so it's really important to vary it as much as possible. So again, I would come back and say. If you think you can cut off from those siblings in a way that is going to bring them to Allah, then that is something you can give consideration to. If you think that it's only going to make the situation worse or the same, then don't cut off from them. But vary the way that you advise them and the styles of advice in all of the options. Use every option that's available to you to try to uh, change this behavior of theirs, which is of course one of the worst of the major sins وقوق الوالدين to be bad to your parents and Allah Azza wa Jal knows best Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu How can you do a two second action right now that will give you a share of the reward of everything we're doing 
on this YouTube channel. Simple. Like this video and click subscribe. Why? It will allow YouTube to recommend our videos to other users. And imagine the huge amount of reward that could be waiting for you on the day of judgment if you did that with a sincere intention of spreading the deen of Allah. You'll be rewarded for every single person who benefits from one of our videos as a result of your like or subscribe. That's an easy two second action that you definitely don't want to miss out on. Do it now, click like and subscribe and don't forget to make that intention.